प्रोफेसर सुशांत कुमार दास हेड स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स जीएम यूनिवर्सिटी संबलपुर ओडिशा इंडिया सो आकाश इज वन ऑफ आवर अलुमिनी ही हैज पास्ट लास्ट ईयर एंड दिस ईयर आई एम प्राउड टू से दैट ही क्रैक द जाम विथ वेरी गुड स्कोर एंड गॉट ए सीट इन वन ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आवर कंट्री आई आई टी गांधी नगर सो ना वील टॉक टू हिम एंड सी हाउ ही हैज डन दिस हाउ ही हैज गॉट दिस रेयर सक्सेस इन प्रिंसिपल इन लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स फ्रॉम जी एम यूनिवर्सिटी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैज गॉट इन वेरियस प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट्स इंक्लूडिंग आई आई धनबाद सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद ओके नाउ देन टेल अबाउट योर जर्नी ड्यूरिंग बी एस सी टाइम हाउ मच यू स्कोर्ड इन फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर एंड अदर थिंग्स यू टेल एंड ओवरऑल ऑल्सो टेल हाउ मच यू स्कोर्ड sir uh, my first semester uh, actually was not very good i only secured uh, about 7.45 cgpa uh-huh. uh, because i was new to bsc and uh, uh-huh. so yeah after that uh, for corona i think one or two semesters got disturbed uh-huh. because of the corona virus uh-huh. but after the corona virus got over i think our uh, course came to track because All the fantastic new teachers came in after that, mm-hmm. uh, including uh, Sir Yu and uh, uh, other faculties. So they came and after that uh, we started very nicely. And after that, uh, my marks got increased gradually, and uh, I finally uh, put it eighty one percent. Eight point. Oh, eighty one percent. Eighty one percent. Learned a lot of things mm. uh, compared to the first two years. The mm. first two years we had a lot of breaks and due to coronavirus, mm. so we could not uh, do it nicely. But the third year was great. Uh, we uh, did some exciting projects. Uh, I did my project under you, sir. Uh, and uh, so third year was a uh, very nice. Uh, but but first two years uh, there were a little bit problems. Yeah. Okay then. It's good that you got a uh, uh, pretty good score at last. And uh, anyway, then uh, in the uh, immediately after the uh, uh, your for uh, that uh, after passing out or in that final year, you had appeared some exam or not? No, sir. That year I did not uh, appear for any exams because hmm. I was not confident. Hmm. I gave a few mock tests, and uh, in the mock tests I did not perform well. Hmm. So I do that. That I cannot qualify that. Yeah. So last year you didn't apply anything, na? Neither JEST nor the JAM or uh, uh, neither uh, CUET also. Or before all those exams, the exams I had made up my mind that I will take a year off, complete my PSC with high school. Hmm. Uh, that's why I did not apply anything. Good, good. Then, uh, uh, then you took one year drop and you prepared it seriously. Now, what is your score in JAM? Sir, I got thirty-eight point six seven out of hundred. Thirty-eight point six seven. And what is your rank now? Three hundred and ninety. Okay, so that means is uh, uh, it's a top so uh, top exam with uh, less. Sir, regarding that, I can say one thing is that uh, this year actually at thirty-eight point six seven, I got three ninety nine hmm. because uh, this year question paper was graded a tough. Right. Than the previous. Right, right. And it was the same, mm-hmm. but the question level got increased. Level got increased. Yes. Otherwise, uh, for to get an IIT seat in general category, you would have to get much around forty-five mm-hmm. in the previous years. Yeah. But this year, forty-five uh, was good enough not to get it. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, okay. So uh, tell about then uh, about some subject-wise. uh some tips to our student 
so that they can uh, uh, get a uh, idea on which topic they have to give more stress and uh, what are the things they will uh, take care of uh, similar things can you give some uh, gifts to them to your juniors i can share up, uh, small slides i have prepared okay but i can share some books things okay So, uh, in mathematical methods, first to make our concepts strong, I followed the first two books. And, uh, those are mathematical methods in physical sciences by Mary L. Bruce mm -hmm. and Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erin Grace. Okay. These two are very good books for making your concepts strong. Mm -hmm. But after making your concepts strong, you need to practice a lot of numbers. And for that, the sec uh, next two books, uh, Higher Engineering Mathematics by B.S. Greva. And mathematical physics by HK Nas. These two are very good for practice questions. Yeah, but uh, you see, sometimes the following four such books uh, uh, to a great extent it is difficult, na? So, how you are so, managing actually? So, uh, it is difficult, uh, but it is mandatory sir, because mm -hmm. uh, in one book you won't get every topic very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, uh, the strategy you'll have to follow is that. The topic which are put in one particular book, we will have to follow that book for that book. Mm. For That's example, uh, let's say uh, Fourier analysis is good in mm. Erin Crazy. Mm. Then uh, you could uh, learn that topic from Erin Crazy. Mm. And let's say complex analysis is good in very book. Then that. Right, that uh, I wanted to know. Okay, so that uh, students should know that uh, it's, it's obvious actually, different authors. Have uh, have their strength in different subject, so they they explain one subject very well, uh, whereas uh, some other subject they do not uh, express well. So one has to follow uh, some specific books, okay, uh, so yes. that they can cover the things well. And you have mentioned that uh, we ma uh, one has to practice twenty five problems daily to improve yes. the calculation speed and accuracy yes. isn't yes, it? Sir. Uh, it yes sir because all the topics uh, in physics that you will learn mm. every topic has a lot of mathematics mm. so if you are strong in your mathematical calculation mm. and uh, accuracy mm. then uh, it uh, then your entire physics sir. that's why i've written this only for mathematical methods for the practice uh, at least 25 problems for yeah so that you will have a daily practice so yes yes and you have given your message also the one who is good in methods will not naturally be good in physics naturally be good in physics okay then uh, next uh, uh, about mechanics and the general property yes. of matter yes now for uh, mechanics actually uh, most of the theories of mechanics uh, that comes in jam you have already started in plus except for a few topics mm. uh, like uh, central motion mm. and a uh, few topics and uh, relating to that mm. uh, those topics uh, you have to read extra mm. otherwise uh, most of the topics in the plus we have covered uh, so uh, uh, bo oh, okay okay so oh, the level of uh, the sc Burma level can be good or the s mathuri will be good enough sometimes yes sir, and obviously erodov uh, erodov will be better, uh, also nice i i don't know will be uh, uh, more than i don't know yeah uh, because that's the written at the bottom uh. that uh, for chess and tfr exams only topics of lagrangian and hamiltonian mechanics is required and those are not required for IIT. good good so Hmm. Because that is the advanced level and yes. the basic level uh, and uh, a little bit uh, uh, applied levels are there in the first five books that you have mentioned. So yes. they are, uh, how much, how you are following these five books, you have to tell little bit, bit more detail. Sir, I, I was not following uh, all the five books here, I have mentioned it so that students can know uh -huh. that five uh, books are available. But how I used to do is I used to follow first HC Verma questions. HC uh, Verma's uh, mechanics questions are really good. Uh, so I used to follow that. And you uh, after that, I followed JST Upadha a little bit. Mm. And then I practiced uh, previous questions. Previous questions. Uh, and, uh, okay, that questions you got from the book or uh, some other? 
Yes, sir. I will tell that uh, later. Okay, fine, fine. So uh, and uh, for uh, concepts, Kleppner uh, and Kolenko is uh, enough. Which one? So Kleppner and Kolenko. First okay, one. for the concept, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay, so now we are uh, going for electricity and magnetism. Yes. So the DG Griffith is very nice. Obviously, one must have to read uh, yes, this sir. book. That is, uh, uh, that's a nice book. Uh, your concept will be very clear by reading this, isn't it? Yes, mm. concepts will be very good. And uh, DG Griffith was the only book that I wrote mm. for electricity and magnetism. Mm. I have written uh, other two books uh, so that students can read. Uh, you can practice electrostatics and minor statics questions from this. Okay. The so, electrostatics and minor statics questions are good in this. Other topics are not given in this. So we are good. Good. That's a very precise uh, information that you have given. What about this B. Ghosh book? Can you tell? Uh, yes, it is an uh, Indian author book. If you have problems following digital language, mm. then uh, maybe you can choose for an Indian author like me. Right, right. Yes. So that message should be reached to the student because sometimes what happens in foreign author book, uh, they do not uh, elaborate the things. They uh, skip a number of steps and uh, uh, some, uh, sometimes so the, one must have to go some similar books like that to cover up that. Then and in the modern... English language uh, might be a little incompatible sometimes mm. uh, for us. Mm. That's why we can follow Indian author no Right. Then in modern physics, uh, you have uh, author Bajer. Then yes. uh, uh, other for, uh, for an introduction, you can follow uh, uh, Bajer for uh, nuclear and uh, atomic models and uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you'll have to take the next step for quantum mechanics with DJ. Mm -hmm. That is a very good book mm -hmm. for, uh, for understanding quantum mechanics. Mm -hmm. And there are other, another book uh, that I recommend highly is Z. Yeah, that is very good, obviously. You can but, practice to uh, solve problems from that. Solve problem of Jetli will be very nice, isn't it? And Otherwise, uh, from modern physics, the questions that come in jam are very elementary questions. Yeah. Because uh, in the BSc, only we are being introduced to quantum mechanics. Uh -huh. We are not studying anything about that. Yeah. That's why the questions and are. Orthovisor uh, is also very good, actually. In that, uh, yes, Orthovisor is very good. Yeah. But uh, for, uh, if you want a more uh, feel about the potentials, for example, mm. a little deeper knowledge, mm. then uh, I would recommend uh, DJ that's it. Mm. And for the introduction, um, moments, uh, preliminary level of uh, probably numericals, you have followed quantum mechanics from AC Burma. Uh, sir, uh, questions, as I said, I uh, did the uh, solved examples from Zetli. Uh, and apart from that questions, I solved the previous questions and from the materials of my coaching institute. Right. So we'll discuss more about that also. Yes. Mm. yes. Good. Then thermodynamics. Thermodynamics, uh, you can start with a very good book called Work on mm. That is uh, enough. Mm. Uh, apart from that, another good book for uh, make, to make your concepts clear. Mm -hmm. I followed Zemansky's Think and Thermodynamics. Mm -hmm. It is a, a very good book I would recommend. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, apart from that, Charles Kittel's book is also very famous, but I did not follow it, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that was a very famous standard. Mm -hmm. And I think Garg Bansal Ghosh book is uh, good enough. Garg Bansal and Ghosh book is good enough, isn't it? Yes. Good. Yes. Then statistical mechanics. Statistical mechanics, uh, there are two books, uh, very standard books, uh, Rife and Parthia. Mm -hmm. But again, here I want to say that in JAM, the statistical mechanics questions are very elementary. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike the ever and gist, mm -hmm. in JAM, the questions are very elementary, uh, relating to the microstates calculations and stuff like that. And simple uh, thermodynamic potential like mm -hmm. helping in the entropy for microstates and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, not much about that. So, if you want to learn, then you can learn uh, from Patri and Ray. Mm. But uh, questions are very elementary, you know, only one or two questions. Right. Then uh, oscillation wave and optics. Yes, uh, oscillation waves and optics, you will have to read uh, very nicely and clearly mm. because from here, you have uh, good questions come. Mm. And uh, about uh, 16 to 18 marks come. Uh, mm. So, 
Uh, you can follow these two books, N.K. Bajaj and uh, Ajay Ghatak. Mm. Both the books are very good. Any of the one of them. Any one of them will be good enough. And uh, here I would uh, like to suggest uh, one more thing for this topic, oscillation, waves and optics, and for mechanics. These two topics, uh, I would recommend to solve some questions of J.E. Mains and J.E. Okay, that is a good uh, suggestion. So one, uh, if uh, they are solving, even if uh, previous year questions of J main and J advanced, that will be also very much very helpful. helpful for mechanics and oscillation a bit of for mechanics as well as for this topic because this is there uh, in the in the plus two level. Is that plus two topics? Yeah, BSc just a little bit advanced some things. So, so Ajay Ghatak also a little bit good in advanced uh, for advanced topics. Uh, yes, sir, for so understanding the Ajay Ghatak is good and good. So uh, then uh, solid state physics. Uh, yes, for solid state physics, uh, the, these are the books uh, I followed. Cody Robert, hmm. but uh, you can also follow K. Peter's book, Peter's book, and State Man's books. But again, from solid state physics, also in Jam. Uh, question 11 is related to flow. Yeah, so, in the solid state, actually, one cannot get so much numericals. Uh, yes, sir. The numericals are military length. So, yeah. Uh, so, expression mm -hmm. type. So, better. Uh, and statement is very nice, obviously. Except the yes. small uh, thin book uh, for semiconductor is very good. Uh, much deeper depth. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, thin book. But it's very good statement. Yeah. Uh, and condensed matter physics uh, starts mainly from MS. It's just an introduction to condensed matter physics. So most That's why you won't get a bit of much. Hmm. So basically, uh, from which book you have uh, solved maximum question? So for solid state physics, uh, I practiced uh, previous questions and uh, from materials questions. I did not uh, solve questions from. from okay. From the previous year question and the uh, oh, okay, material question that you got. Good. Yes. Then uh, analog electronics. Yes, for analog electronics, uh, I followed uh, this uh, BK Meha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, another book I really liked was this uh, Rakshit and Chattopadhyay mm -hmm. Electronics for Numbers and Applications by T. Chattopadhyay. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was uh, very good. For understanding the concepts, yeah, and lots of new makers are also there. Uh, yes. One can now follow them. Isn't it? If one wants to go deeper into analog electronics, then he can follow Bernstein. But uh, for uh, Jam, uh, I think uh, BK Mehta and Rakshit. Uh, yeah, I, I believe one of them will be good enough because, yes, mm, yes. yeah. So if another topic that I might have missed here was. Uh, uh, this uh, network theory and transient phenomena. Mm. These two topics you might not find in this uh, standard books. For them, you will have to follow the plus two books or uh, some engineering books or something. These two topics network theory and transient phenomena. Mm. Or you can find from the online materials of Jam. Mm. Uh, then you will have to find these two topics and practice questions. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. these two topics you won't get nicely in this standard books. Right, right. Then digital. Digital electronics, uh, the Thomas Floyd uh, book is enough because from a digital electronics, only one question comes. One or two, not mm. more than that. Mm. That's why uh, you can come. Okay, fine. Then uh, you are uh, suggesting some practice uh, material. So now you are asking the, about the provided I practice questions. Yeah, so, material for uh, practicing questions. Mm -hmm. I practice questions uh, from my coaching uh, material. I did my, my coaching from uh, online coaching from the, the optimist classes. So I uh, did uh, uh, questions from there. But mm -hmm. apart from that, mm -hmm. uh, these are some of the materials of practice questions mm -hmm. like uh, Y. Kelin series of books mm -hmm. and the Shom's outlines. These two series of books are mainly for questions. Mm -hmm. What they do is they find the questions of uh, this. Uh, Semester exams of Ivy League colleges like mm. MIT and Princeton uh, and uh, those colleges, mm. and uh, they make the print the questions mm. and uh, put it in the books. So, if you practice those questions, then your PSC will be really strong. Right. Uh, 
and apart from that uh, there is a website uh, online called physics by physics right and you will get all the previous questions topic wise and year wise uh, you will get from there and you can practice questions from there also uh, i have provided the link also there physics yeah physics. it's really good though actually uh yes. physics uh, is really a, uh one can get uh, topic wise uh, questions it's a really good and at last uh, uh, there are a lot of coaching is, uh, institute so you can purchase uh, materials from those coaching institutes mm. but i have mentioned here only career endeavor mm. because out of all study materials i want career endeavor study materials to be okay you so, found that best eh? So, if you are going to purchase study material of coaching institutes, then I would recommend you purchase that of Kaiser. And you have given this link, and that I'll put in the this video link, eh? uh, yes. in the description box of this YouTube video. I'll put these two links, okay, particularly Kaiser and other. Other is uh, available. How much is the cost of this Kaiser uh, and other material? Uh, sir, entire material and test series would uh, cost you around six thousand. Six thousand. Okay. And uh, you told that you are the online coaching or optic. Uh, of the course. optimist. What you told? The optimist classes. The optimistic classes. So that cost you uh, twelve thousand. Uh, sir, uh, no sir. Uh, that included the three uh, live classes. Mm -hmm. And coaching and everything, so materials and everything. So that was around two thousand five hundred. Yeah, uh, all classes and everything, uh, and uh, the book, everything and cost you. Test series also. Test series also. How many test series were there? Uh, around uh, fifty. Fifty test series were there. Yes, because uh, they will start topic wise test test series okay. first. Uh, let's say EMT three tests with the topic wise. Mm. After that, they will conduct minor tests, mm. like uh, combining two or three topics. Okay. And after that, uh, you get ten to fifteen. So, so online is a uh, 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 good one, isn't it? So no need to go yes. for any physical mode um, type of thing. Uh, yes, online is good enough because material they will send you uh, offline only by post. Mm. So materials will get uh, the hard copies of materials and classes and tests mm. will be conducted. Okay. Like, how was uh, that class schedule? Yes. Class schedule uh, used to vary uh, every day, but uh, in the morning they will take one class mm. of two hours. Mm. Uh, let's say uh, seven to nine, mm. uh, and then the, at evening they will take classes. Uh, of duration? Five to nine. Five to nine. So, so every day. Every day changing. Is uh, changes so in a in an average of uh, three hour uh, classes three or three three and a half. Uh, yes, sir. You, you can uh, take uh, three so to four hours classes. Uh, weekly, how many days classes were there? Uh, weekly five six days. One day will be holidays. Apart yeah. from that, uh, six days. But uh, then again, uh, as I said, for example, they will do like this. if uh, if the holiday comes, for example. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they know that their students will not go to college, so they will uh, conduct about three or four classes. There. Okay. So that uh, they won't uh, bother much when the colleges are happening and the exams are happening. Uh, those days uh, they will not conduct many exams. During the exam, they will not take classes. Many yes, times. During the holidays, they will uh, take uh, classes. And weekends, they will take uh, three or four classes. Okay. For one year. For one year. For one year. So you are starting the uh, starting you, you started on again tell me uh, more than one year actually uh, about uh, let's say seventeen eighteen months because from January uh, the course started uh, the course my course January uh, two thousand twenty two twenty two okay yeah. then ended the classes uh, will end on uh, before Jan so let's say uh, till January end. January and 2023. Okay, so just uh, okay. So one. But the recorded lectures will be available uh, till the uh, till the CUET exams. That is true. Uh, 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 till the CUET. Okay. Yes. Okay, that will be available there. Yeah. Okay, good. 
uh, and um, then uh, can you tell me the uh, actually uh, the uh, assignment and other things? Yes. One second. I get from Optimist classes daily. Mm -hmm. uh, that is career endeavor. There are a lot of coaching institutes, mm -hmm. but uh, I found these three to be the best. Mm -hmm. So and uh, I think uh, around 50%. Okay, good. And uh, then uh, uh, other video that you have seen from N NPTL and... Uh, yes, and these are the online video lectures. Uh, if you are not taking any coaching uh, classes, uh, uh, then you can follow these. These are very wonderful lectures available online. Yeah. For example, NPTEL courses, all the IA professors from IITs will take uh, lectures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's actually uh, the lectures are there in, in very systematic manner. So one yes. must uh, follow this thing. Yes, uh, and, uh, uh, if they will uh, they even conduct tests at the end of the courses. Mm. So it is uh, And then there is also MIT open courses. Mm. And all the MIT professors uh, take uh, courses. Mm. They need interesting and very nice. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, there are a lot of uh, pre YouTube uh, lecture tests uh -huh. that uh, you can follow. I have mentioned a few that I found to be very interesting uh -huh. uh, and uh, helping, like uh, lectures by V. Balakrishna uh -huh. from IIT Madras. Uh -huh. uh, he's a wonderful teacher and you can follow his videos. Uh -huh. Then there is uh, Fundamental of Physics by Ramamurti Shankar from Yale University. Uh -huh. uh, and then I have uh, also mentioned a few more places like Quantum Physics 1 by Alan Adams from. Mm. And statistical mechanics by John Preskill Caltech. Another place by statistical mechanics by Samsha Mehmet Quanta Institute. It's, it's a coaching institute from Brazil. And my advice will be uh, what do you say? Students should go on uh, following these things from the beginning. Uh, as, uh, while they are the semesters are going on, they must parallelly uh, see these things because. Uh, Many things, yes. many good things they can learn, and uh, sometimes they may be able to clock in the same year also. What yes, I think? would uh, suggest that you start your preparation from the first year. Mm. Don't wait till the end, like we did. So you can uh, start from the first year. And uh, three years, if you practice regularly, mm. then it is more than enough. You can easily qualify. Mm. And if you practice a little more, then you can. Very good, Ram. Right, right, right. Then uh, this is the end of then this slide, eh? Yes. Uh, so then you can stop sharing your uh, mm, screen. Tell uh -huh. So how much uh, time you are spending per day? Sir, uh, in my case, the uh, in the starting, I did not spend uh, much hours. Uh, Five to six hours, uh, about two to three hours apart from the lectures. Uh, lectures will have to attend daily. Mm. Uh, I was uh, because I joined the coaching institute. Mm. So apart from that, uh, they give daily assignments. I used to solve the starting uh, mm. But as the exams got closer, I have to practice. Uh, I would say around. Uh, I practice around four to five hours apart from the lectures, not for that. But you can practice, of course. The more you practice, the better it is. Uh -huh. So, but again, if you, you should start your preparation from uh, the first year only. And from the first year, if you give uh, three hours, then uh -huh. it is more than enough. After three years. Uh, so every day, if students are giving some time in numerical solving and uh, yes. revising their courses and uh, going ahead with the previous year questions and uh, uh, referring the uh, NPTEL also uh, along with the other lectures uh, uh, talk or uh, lectures notes also. So it will be easy for them to crack. And also as you told that uh, by referring some specific book, books like what you have mentioned, that will be very much helpful for them. And the uh, exam is not very competitive like the JE mentioned and advanced. Mm. So, but the problem is that uh, students are not aware of the exams right. and they become serious only uh, in the last uh, final year. Right, right. And finally, we have a lot of projects also. Yeah, yeah. So, 
uh, actually the uh, objective of making this video is that uh, to give the awareness to them that uh, they must have to be little bit careful from the very beginning then definitely they can uh, plug the uh, this national level exam i would recommend them that by the first two years first year mm. and second year mm. you should uh, complete the theory mm. Mm. and in the final semester you can keep it for practice mm. and uh, you can give a lot of mock tests mm. and that is a better strategy right 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 now oh, i started giving them uh, the previous questions and other question as assignment so yes. that's uh maybe that would be helpful yes and, uh, yeah and uh okay then now uh, so, so uh, finally i want to say that uh, to all the gmu students my juniors that uh, this year uh, for the last two years our faculties those are here they're very uh, highly qualified and they are all qualified the these exams jam and just exams so i would uh, I recommend them that you take guidance from them and make the best. And uh, ask for the ask your doubts. You can okay, okay. Nice. Uh, really, uh, uh, we are proud of you. And uh, thank you for giving the, uh, so much time and uh, very elaborative uh, instruction and also uh, advice to the students. So I hope they will follow it. Uh, not only the GMA student, uh, but the other students who are going to watch this video and they will get definitely a lot of benefit out of this. So thank you then. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank uh, you for this. Okay then. Nice. Thank you. Let us end then. Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have seen the uh, detail conversation. I hope you must have got some information about the things. Uh, particularly, uh, you see, uh, the stu uh, students, uh, you see, sometimes uh, we may uh, drop one or two years in between in our career because sometimes uh, our situation do not uh, support us to uh, uh, to go ahead in the very regular manner. Sometimes. Uh, some uh, gap or some irregularity comes but uh, you see uh, ultimately if we are getting uh, to a good uh, institute uh, by utilizing that gap period then you are definitely a bigger winner and that is what uh, uh, Akash has proved and he has gotten very uh, he has got very good opportunity so half everything will be good uh, here let me tell you also in my case uh, because of my uh, various family uh, situation and uh, many times I have to manage the family by leaving the education also. So I, I, I had to take a decision whether I will go for the education or manage the family. So I had to take the decision in favor of the family. Sometimes with the family condition do not support sometimes so uh, so there are a lot of things happen but you see uh, in life those one to uh, your gap is nothing and uh, definitely you will do excellent in your life uh, with this uh, i'm ending then this uh, video of uh, we'll be meeting soon with some uh, uh, other video informative video uh, particularly now we uh, in this year we have uh, some other students who have gone to uh, NIT Dudapur and uh, and uh, that is a student who has uh, not even taken any break uh, and uh, uh, some other students who are going uh, and also we'll uh, uh, discuss about uh, some students particularly we'll interact with some students who have uh, last uh, uh, the very prestigious examinations like um, uh, IJOL or uh, suggest and they are currently doing uh, the uh, integrated MSc and PhD program uh, some students also cracked the uh, uh, IIT uh, IIT Dhanbad also uh, so, so we have uh, they are continuing there so we'll also I plan to discuss with them
so that uh, we can get uh, the detailed information regarding their preparation, their uh, difficulty, their, uh, the things that support them, etc. So that uh, these things will be very useful to you all. Uh, so with this, I am ending this video and hope to meet you soon. Thank you. Namaskar.